Okay, I've noticed that the popular thing for a lot of kids these days, particularly little girls, are unicorns. So I thought today's lesson will be about how we can draw a basic unicorn, okay? So what I usually like to do when I'm drawing, you know, one of these kind of creatures is I like starting off with the eyes. So we're going to put the eyes here and I'm going to take my marker that I use each time that has a broad tip and a real tiny point at the end to give me kind of a thickness and a thinness of lines. So I'm going to draw the top part of the eye right here and then underneath it you put like another curved shape underneath it there. It's kind of like a little almond sort of shape. So then inside the eye you're going to draw a little bit of an oval. And we fill in that oval but not completely. This is going to be like the center of the pupil of the eye, but you leave a little bit of white so that it shows kind of like a little bit of a reflection. reflection. So then I think we're going to add just a few little eyelashes on our unicorn right there. So here we have our eye. Now right above it, we're going to start sort of at the end of the eye, and we're going to take a little curved line, and it's going to go up the paper a little bit, we'll do a little bit of a curve, and then we come back down this way. So it almost looks like maybe we're doing a leaf from a tree, but it's not really a leaf. It's going to be the ears of our unicorn. Now the inside, we'll put like a very thin line to show the inside part there. Then we'll do, of course, if we have to have a unicorn, a unicorn has to have the horn. So you do a little curved line, almost like a circle, but a little bit of a curve this way. And then we're going to have the unicorn's horn go up, 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 almost to the corner. And then we're going to turn around and come back down in this direction like this. So there we've got the unicorn's horn. Now, of course, the unicorn has to have two ears. So since the unicorn's horn is in between the ears, we're just going to do the tip of this one, but just show it a little bit sticking out on the other side of that horn, and then bring the line down just a little bit there to show the other part of the unicorn's ear. So now we've got to do the rest of the head. So we're going to do a little curved line over here, and then curve the line down in this direction a little bit. Then we head our line down towards the bottom of the paper, and we bring it around in this direction, and we're going to now start to form what's going to be the unicorn smile. So we'll do a line heading in this direction, and then we'll do almost like a little teardrop shape here for the nostrils of our horse, or our unicorn, which is basically a horse with a horn on the top of its head there, right? So now, starting right here at this point, bring a line down just a little bit like that, curve it around, and we're going to follow the smile almost parallel, but then a, a unicorn has a bit of a jawline, like right there. So we put a little bit of a curve right there, and we're going to start to put the mane for the unicorn right about here, but first we've got to draw the portion where the unicorn's neck is. So starting right about midpoint on the bottom part here, we're going to draw a curved line heading down this way, and it's almost like a little snake pattern, and it starts right, stops right about here at the jawline. Then we're going to start at this part right here, and we're going to draw the legs of the unicorn. So we're going to draw sort of a curved line this way, and then each joint of the unicorn or the horse's leg has a little bit of a bump to it. So we're doing like a little portion of a circle there. Then we'll head down a little bit. We'll do another little curve in this direction. And then we do almost like a little, again, portion of a circle in this direction. And then we're going to come back the other way. Again, doing the curve for the joint, then coming parallel to the other line. Do another little circle at this point, and then have this line head directly to where the chest of the unicorn is.
So now we're going to hit extend this line just a little bit further, and we're going to do the exact same thing with the unicorn's other leg. So a line going down, a little bit of a curve for where the joint is, a little bit further down, another little curve where the joint is, and here we have this unicorn's hoof right about here. This side of the joint head up in this direction parallel to it, a little bit of a circle here, and then we're going to bring this up, and this is where the body is going to meet. So now we'll start here, and we're going to just draw sort of a very slightly curved line that'll go just about this far. And then we start to do the back part of the, the unicorn, which will be the legs back here. So go a little bit above this line, do kind of a curved line, again, we're thinking circles a lot of the time here. So a little bit of a circle, a little bit of a joint right there for a circle. Bring the line down this way. A little bit of a joint there. And then we'll put the hoof of the unicorn here. Again, a circle, curve, parallel line, curve. And we'll bring this part. Now instead of going parallel to this line, it's going to sway away from it a little bit. So it's going to go up and right above it to this point, because this is going to be part of the unicorn's back. Now we have to, of course, put in a fourth leg here. So we'll start right underneath the middle of the belly. Again, following the same sort of technique. Curved line here, curved line here, a little bit of a circle for the joint, a parallel line, curved line here for where the circle is, putting in our little bit of a leg in this direction, a joint, then a parallel line, then a little circle in this direction, and bring that up in that direction there. So, you know, our unicorn is sort of maybe jumping a little bit in this direction. So now we've got to put in the unicorn's mane. So what I like to do, and you can make the mane in any fashion you want. I like to think of a unicorn's mane as being very, very fluffy and almost like a cloud. So what I'm doing is just making little half circles and almost like even like little swirls so we can make the unicorn's mane almost like it's very, very poofy and very, very you know, uh, circular and, and magical, kind of. So then this part of the back will connect it with the mane. So now the one thing that's missing is we've got to put in the unicorn's tail. So again, we'll do a curved line in this direction, and then just like we did with these curves for the mane, we can do little swirly, almost curly lines. And you don't have to really... You know, practice it too much. Just you can you can make your unicorn's tail, you know, flowing in the wind or very very curly. It depends on you know how you feel about it. So there we have the basic outline for our unicorn at that point. So now, what we need to do is put in some little final details. So we'll go back to the eye. I'm using like a smaller tip pen, like right about here, and I'm going to follow around the edge of the pupil of the unicorn's eyes to give it a little bit of personality there. And then the unicorn's horn right here, well, it needs a little bit of depth to it and a little bit of texture. So we're going to draw, you know, just almost like little striations or lines that are curved lines because you don't want to do them straight across because the unicorn's horn is sort of roundish in shape. So you want to do almost like little curved semicircle um, lines going up in this direction here. And then you can also use your fine tip pen to maybe just refine a little bit of the features here and put a little bit of shape underneath here, a little bit of a shadow. Also maybe add some finer lines to the unicorn's uh, mane as well as to its tail. So I think we've got a pretty fluffy unicorn that's looking pretty cool here. But, and 
last little touch because a lot of people, a lot of little girls like the My Little Pony series. So we'll put a little unicorn's heart on this little unicorn at this point. So now we go back to our thick marker one more time and we've just got to add a couple of little final touches. So since this leg is under a shadow here, I'll put like just a little bit of a shadow underneath this leg and a little bit of shadow underneath this leg here. And you just sort of fill that in. Maybe you can feather it a little bit in that direction. And we'll put some little touches of grass going like this somewhat. And there we have basically our unicorn. Now, I've got a couple of minutes here, so I think I'll add a little touch of color to this. And I think unicorns love having rainbows around them. So I'm going to take my red marker and I'm going to do it where we have a curved line here for a rainbow. First, a little bit of red, and then we grab a little bit of orange for our next portion of the rainbow. And again, I'm just using Crayola washable markers. Uh, then we're, what we're doing is we're taking the flat part of the marker and holding it down so that we get a pretty th thick but uniform line. So now I'm going to take the same thing with some green, put it right beside it there, and then maybe a little bit of blue right beside the green. So there we have a little bit of a rainbow coming down. Just to add sort of a little touch of color to our unicorn. And finally, we'll, of course, put a little bit of red on the unicorn's beauty mark here, which is a nice little heart shape. And the last little touch of color that I think we'll add to this will be a little bit of blue to the eyes. So you don't always have to, you know, fill in the colors all the way. You can fill it in completely. I'm just going to put a little touch of color right there. See how it just gives her sort of a little hint of blue eyes right there? And then the last part is putting in a little bit of yellow for the unicorn's horn because we're going to make believe that this unicorn has Mm, sort of a golden touch to it. So we add first a little bit of yellow underneath it, and then we'll take a little bit of an orange marker and just do a little touch, almost like a little highlight. They're like little dots of the orange on either side. And it kind of, you can even, you know, sort of feather it out in this direction. And that gives us this sort of kind of golden glow to it. In fact, you can also take the edge of the marker, hold it down tight, and then sort of flick it like you're flicking maybe, I don't know, a little flea off the paper. You just go hard down on the paper and flick it like that and just have fun making these sort of glow effects like that. So here we have our unicorn that we have drawn and the last but not least, you always make sure that you sign your name to your artwork so that people know that you've done it. And there we have it. We have our unicorn that's been done in just about less than 15 minutes. And again, just make sure that you follow these instructions. Here we have our head for our unicorn, all the rainbows put together here. And a lot of these shapes are just little variations on circles. So I hope you enjoyed it and hope that you tune in the next time that we do one of these types of drawings. And until next time, have fun drawing, everybody, and we'll see you the next time we hit the drawing board. Bye now. Have a great day.